Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make your LS1 E fans uh, as efficient as possible. It's a pretty common swap and it's the cheapest way to get E fans in your uh, Trailblazer is to use these LS1 fans. These are from like a Camaro, I think, but they fit right in almost like they're supposed to be, uh, almost like they're supposed to be there. But when you look, there's there's a gap behind the fan here. And you can fit your whole hand there. So what happens is uh, the fans, when, when you're sitting in traffic, I, at least I've noticed this with my truck. When I'm cruising all day long, even with a trailer, temp never gets high. It's good to go. It sits right at 200, right where it always has. Um, but... You get stuck in traffic, stop and go, you're, you're accelerating and, and stopping. Let's say you're staying under like 15 miles an hour. There's not a lot of natural airflow through the truck. And uh, the, the, it gets a little hot. It starts getting up to 215, 220. I know last summer uh, I was in upstate New York and I was stuck in traffic going through the mountains. And uh, that puts a lot of strain on the cooling system. And it was like 90, 93, 94 something degrees out. It was pretty hot. And uh, the truck actually got up to like 225 and I pulled over and shut it off and let it cool off. Uh, and I, I think that the problem is the gap around the shroud. When the fans turn on, it's pulling the air from the police place of least resistance and it just goes around that gap. Instead of pulling the air through the radiator, it's pulling it around the shroud and uh, that doesn't do anything for you because obviously you want the air to go through the radiator. So this is the gap right here. It's kind of hard to see. Right here, there's a giant gap. I would say it's an inch, half inch to an inch. We'll split the difference and say it's three quarters of an inch, something like that. The first step in this is I'm gonna go ahead and pull the fans out of there and, uh, and then I'll show you what I got. make a spot to work real quick. Here's your LS1 fan assembly. 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 And uh, here you can see this ridge here gets close to the radiator but it's not all the way against it. And then on the sides it's just completely open. So I think what's happening is the air is coming around this and you're just kind of recirculating your hot engine bay air instead of pulling fresh air through the radiator. So what I got for that, I got this expandable 
foam weather seal from Lowe's. Um, I don't remember how much this was. $15.98. I think I'm only going to need one. This is a 13 foot, yeah, 13 foot strip and it expands to one inch. Uh, I got two because I didn't want to start doing this project just to find out that I need more. So hopefully I can not open one of these and return it. Where did I put my beer? There it is. Beer holder, what I need? Alcohol. So I got my favorite isopropyl alcohol. Y'all know I love that stuff. What I'm gonna do is clean up the edge here because I'm gonna I'm gonna adhesive bond it to the edge. So stand by and let me do that. I said it before and I'll say it again, a pair of trauma shears in your garage. It's a great, great tool to have. So this stuff's probably gonna whoop, 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 expand until I cut this. Cut the edge of this so it clears the fan. See, I had to cut around the fan. Doesn't touch or anything. 
Um, do this with a pair of scissors before you take the backing off. I was trying to do it with a razor blade after I had the backing, once I stuck it on, and uh, I basically had to peel a piece off and throw it away. And because of that, I had to open my second pack. But you could see where it's already, it'll expand over time. You can see where it's already trying, starting to expand. So I put two layers on there, and this is, should expand to about one inch. So um, it should be nice and sealed all the way around. I'm gonna go ahead and reinstall this. Okay guys, uh, I put the fans in place and I wasn't happy with the amount of gap that I still had along the top. I still had a gap and along the uh, passenger side, I still had a gap. So I went ahead and I added one more layer along the passenger side and then one more layer along the top. And then over here, I was okay, it was nice and tight. So I'm just gonna leave that go. Um, so now I'm really gonna reinstall it for real this time. Sorry about that, I thought the camera was recording. All I did was set the fan down in there. Okay, I'm all finished up. The fan shroud is reinstalled. Uh, I'll put some pictures in here um, of the gap before and the gap after. Uh, I did take some pictures before with my phone, uh, so you can see the difference. If you have LS1 fans or you're thinking about doing the fan conversion, um, definitely consider when you put them in just to fill that gap with some weather stripping. It'll increase the efficiency of the fans by a lot. Uh, radiators have fan shrouds for a reason. And if the fan is just sitting out there in open space, it's not, it's not gonna pull the air through the radiator and do its job. You're just gonna kind of mix the air up in the engine bay, which I think is what was happening. Thanks for watching. If you are interested in doing an e-fan conver conversion on your Trailblazer, uh, I have a video, I'll put the card there, I think, is where it's going to be, the top, one of the two sides, there's going to be a card for that video, um, and there will also be a link in the description, and I'll put a link to this weather stripping that I used, I got it at Lowe's, like I said, it's just window weather stripping, thanks for watching, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe, I have a lot more tra Trailblazer stuff going on, and I also have a BMW uh, E36 that I'm putting that motor in right there, that LS. That's going to be all. I uh, hope to see you in the next one and stay safe.